Something extraordinary is about to happen in 2026. Imagine a machine capable of performing an impressive variety of tasks, adapting as needed. That was exactly the message Elon Musk gave recently when talking about the next phase of one of Tesla's most daring projects, the humanoid robot Optimus. Unlike what has been seen so far, Optimus will not be just a factory assistant or a robot for simple tasks. A new generation of technological advances shows that it has far exceeded public expectations. According to leaked information, the robot will have full autonomy to operate in extreme environments, thanks to a cutting-edge artificial intelligence system that enables it to react to situations for which it was not previously programmed. Additionally, the robot will feature a self-repair mechanism, allowing it to operate without interruptions and without the need for human intervention. New energy technology promises to ensure consistent and long-lasting performance. And, perhaps most impressively, improved sensors combined with intelligent navigation algorithms will allow Optimus to move with surprising agility, performing complex tasks efficiently. But why are these improvements being implemented right now? What is the true scope of the mission that Optimus is about to undertake? There are still many questions. But everything indicates that we are facing a profound transformation in the way we imagine the future of humanity. In a post on X, formerly Twitter, Musk revealed that a Starship spacecraft will be heading to Mars late next year, and Optimus will be on board. If the initial landing is successful, crewed missions could happen as early as 2029, though 2031 seems more realistic. The point here isn't whether Musk's timetable will be met since Starship's success depends on many factors. The point is the role Optimus could play, not just on Mars, but here on Earth as well. Today, it makes little sense to see Tesla as just an electric car manufacturer. That concept is a thing of the past. The company is establishing itself as a true hub for technology, artificial intelligence, and energy solutions. While electric vehicles help preserve the planet, Innovations in AI accelerate human progress by making work more efficient, safer, and more accessible. But it's important to remember that AI, by itself, is just a tool. Without a physical body, it has limitations. Think of ChatGPT, for example. It answers questions, creates text and images, but it can't act in the real world. It can teach you a recipe, but it can't go into the kitchen to prepare it. That's exactly why Tesla developed Optimus, to give AI form and movement. Optimus' mission goes far beyond Tesla's commercial interests. This is a bold proposal to rethink the future of human coexistence. Imagine a world where humans and robots work side by side, on the streets, in stores, in hospitals, in factories, wherever physical labor takes place. And although the idea of sending Optimus to Mars still seems distant, the fact is that the project has been in constant evolution since its announcement at the end of 2022. Many doubted. A truly useful humanoid robot or just another crazy dream of Musk? Today, this scenario has completely changed. Optimus has gone from being a promise to a symbol of innovation, a technological leap that is about to come true. Tesla is not just creating a robot but a partner for humanity. With advanced intelligence, he doesn't just walk, carry objects, or obey commands. He learns, adapts, and interacts with the environment around him. Imagine a future where having an optimist at home will be as common as having a smartphone today. Does it seem far away? Maybe not so far. What makes Optimus truly special is his artificial brain. Unlike many current robots, which are limited to pre-programmed and repetitive functions, Optimus uses the same software foundation as Tesla's self-driving cars. He doesn't just see the world through cameras. He understands what he sees. His brain works like an artificial neural network, reacting to complex situations in much the same way as a human. In just two years, Tesla has achieved feats that took other robotics companies decades to achieve. If we think of Tesla as an AI-controlled robot on wheels, Optimus represents that intelligence in human form. Before we go into more detail about Optimus, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and leave a like. This helps us continue to bring you important analysis and updates about this incredible project. Thank you very much. But Optimus' true value lies not only in its technology, 
but in its mission to free people from dangerous, tiring, and monotonous tasks. Imagine a world where factory workers no longer have to do backbreaking work, where the elderly have constant companionship and care from intelligent, empathetic robots. This is not science fiction. It is a reality in the making. By 2026, when Optimus enters mass production, we could see a real transformation. Cost, technology, and even public resistance barriers should be significantly reduced. The question will no longer be, will this work? But when will I get one of these in my home? Talking about billions of humanoid robots spread across the world still sounds like something far away, but it's worth remembering. It wasn't that long ago that cell phones and autonomous cars also seemed impossible. With accelerated advances and reduced manufacturing costs, having an Optimus at home could become a reality sooner than we think. Elon Musk is not the only one with this ambitious vision. The CEO of Mercedes-Benz, for example, has already indicated that, in a few years, European factories could operate without human workers. Mercedes is already testing humanoid robots and believes that within five years these machines will not only help on the production line, but could completely replace it. In China, giants such as BYD, NIO, Huawei, and even Toyota are investing heavily in integrating robots into industrial processes. The race for global automation is already in full swing. If everything goes according to plan, Tesla intends to multiply its production by 10 each year. The goal for 2026 is to manufacture between 50,000 and 100,000 Optimus units. And by 2027, Musk talks about reaching between half a million and one million humanoid robots. This year, it is estimated that between 5,000 and 10,000 units will leave the Fremont factory. The expectation is that, with increased scale, Optimus will become a common presence in the global market. What's most impressive is Musk's confidence that this will actually happen. If he were coming from another company, these numbers would seem exaggerated, but with Tesla, the line between the impossible and the possible is often very thin. The technologies that Tesla has developed for its cars, batteries, power electronics, advanced motors, transmissions, software, and even the inference computer for artificial intelligence, have surprising applications in humanoid robotics. Even without a long track record in this area, Musk has made a big bet, building Optimus at scale for just $10,000. That's a ridiculously low price by today's industry standards. Tesla's secret? repurposing everything it already knows. Rather than starting from scratch, the company is adapting proven electric vehicle technologies, including batteries, motors, sensors, actuators, cameras, and other essential components, all developed in-house and manufactured in the United States, with a focus on cost efficiency from start. And now, those same parts are giving Tesla a clear advantage in developing Optimus. Additionally, Unlike many robotics companies that rely on external supply chains, Tesla controls much of the process. The Optimus assembly line at its Fremont plant is already running efficiently, helping to cut costs and speed up production. While many thought the robot would be built at Giga Texas, that space has been redirected to bigger projects like the Cybertruck, Cybercab, and future Tesla models. If Tesla can bring Optimus to market with a final price tag of around $20,000, it could be the first truly affordable and widely adopted humanoid robot, leaving behind the expensive and restricted prototypes that came before it. No competitor has come close to achieving this. And here's a surprise. Even the CEO of Boston Dynamics, one of the most respected companies in the industry, Acknowledged in an interview that Tesla is achieving in just a few years what they have been trying to achieve for more than three decades. According to him, Tesla is putting this technology in the spotlight and showing the importance of this area that few take so seriously. This raises a crucial question. If Tesla does deliver on its promises, how will it transform the world? Are we on the cusp of a new era in which robots will no longer be mere tools but active members of the global workforce? According to Musk, around 10,000 Optimus units will be produced this year, but they will be exclusively for internal use. This reveals a smart strategy. Instead of launching the product in a rush, Tesla is training its robots directly inside the factories themselves, 
where they face real situations and adapt to different functions in everyday industrial life. And if all goes well, Optimus won't be limited to simple tasks like cleaning or moving parts. It could take on essential functions on vehicle assembly lines. When reports emerged last year that the robot was still being controlled remotely, many questioned whether it could actually operate autonomously. No one wants to invest in a robot that needs to be manually programmed for every move, task by task. Something that could take weeks and cause a lot of frustration. But if Tesla can overcome this challenge, Optimus could revolutionize the industry. A robot only becomes truly useful when it can learn and adapt on its own. Relying entirely on remote control severely limits its potential. And here's the thing that many still don't understand. Tesla isn't controlling Optimus remotely because it's unfinished, but because it radically accelerates the learning of artificial intelligence. Think of how we humans learn by observing, imitating, and eventually understanding. Tesla's robot works in a similar way. It doesn't need to be programmed for each task from scratch. By watching multiple examples, it recognizes patterns and can perform actions that it's never been taught directly before. It can watch a video of someone performing a task and learn to repeat that movement just by observing it. This paves the way for a new era in which humanoid robots could be used on a large scale in industry. If Optimus proves its worth in Tesla's factories, there's no reason it can't be used in other areas. It's likely that big companies will start vying for the first units, and those who miss out could see their competitors quickly catch up. Speaking of Elon Musk's bold vision, despite criticism about the Mars mission's timelines, the idea of sending an army of Optimus-like robots to work on the Red Planet is gaining more and more credibility. It sounds like the stuff of science fiction, but if it works, it will completely change our perception of robotics. If Tesla manages to get these robots to Mars, the impact will be huge. They could be the planet's first real inhabitants, performing essential tasks like collecting data, exploring the soil, and assembling basic structures. Unlike traditional rovers, which rely on GPS, a technology that is useless on Mars, Optimus can navigate using 2D cameras, adapting to unfamiliar environments without needing a satellite signal. In recent tests, it has already demonstrated the ability to climb stairs and navigate uneven terrain. While it's not fast, its ability to navigate slopes, rough terrain, and even explore Martian caves is remarkable. Who knows? Maybe he'll even help find signs of extraterrestrial life. All kidding aside, what really sets Optimus apart is his ability to reason and evolve. He's not just an executor of commands but can analyze minerals, search for important resources like frozen water, and adapt to unexpected conditions. Imagine a scenario where he's mining mineral formations, creating detailed maps of the region, or autonomously transporting equipment to remote locations without needing direct command from Earth. Thanks to a dedicated AI processor, he learns from each task rather than simply following orders. An important question arises. How will this robot recharge its battery on Mars? Here on Earth, it's simple. Just plug it into the power grid. But on Mars, where there is no power infrastructure, the challenge is enormous. When Tesla introduced Optimus in 2022, it used a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery with 2,170 cells, which was still quite basic and bulky. At that time, the 4680 battery technology was not yet ready. But now, Everything has changed. Optimus has been discreetly updated with the new generation of 4,680 batteries. Even without all the technical details being released, we know that this evolution represents a giant leap. The new cells have five times more energy density than the previous ones, allowing much more energy to be stored without increasing the size of the robot. In addition, the production cost has fallen by 14%, making large-scale manufacturing feasible at affordable prices. The result? A lighter, stronger, and more resistant robot, with a weight reduced from 72 kilograms to around 63 kilograms and autonomy extended to 10 hours with a 3-kilowatt-hour battery, enough for a full day of work. And most impressively, Optimus doesn't need anyone to plug it in to recharge. 
It locates the charging station itself, positions itself, starts charging, and when it's finished, it automatically shuts off and goes back to work. While an electric car takes 30 to 40 minutes to fully recharge, Optimus reaches full charge in less than 10 minutes, thanks to its smaller battery. Of course, all of this applies to Earth for now. On Mars, the scenario is quite different. A viable solution for recharging the robots would be to harness solar energy since the planet receives sunlight, although at a lower intensity than Earth. The big challenge, however, is Martian dust, which can accumulate on the solar panels and drastically reduce their efficiency. In areas with low light or at night, Optimus will likely rely on fuel cells or some kind of innovative energy storage technology to keep running. So what do you think? How could Optimus recharge his batteries on Mars? We'd love to hear your thoughts. But as we mentioned at the beginning, the main question remains. Will Starship be ready in time to take Optimus to the Red Planet? Because at the end of the day, no matter how advanced the robot is, if it can't leave Earth, this will all remain just a futuristic idea. For Jensen Huang, CEO of NVIDIA, the era of personal robots may be closer than we think, perhaps in just a few years. And the signs are already beginning to appear. Humanoid robots are no longer mere technological demonstrations, but are becoming real tools. They're already present in factories, logistics centers, hospitals, and soon they could also be inside our homes. The big difference with this new generation? They learn, adapt, and act as an active part of our daily lives.